Hi there, let's go through the pattern question for the 2019 PSLE map paper. Alright, uh, many students find this question to be very, very tough. Alright, I don't deny that. But I think it's only the part C that's a killer question, okay? So out of the 5 marks, you should be able to get the first 3 marks, right? Because the part A and part B are pretty manageable. But the part C, I agree that is is indeed quite tough. Okay, so let me share with you our method of solving this question, okay? So over here, we have uh, four figures. Figure one has only one white triangle. It doesn't have any gray triangles. While figure two has uh, one white and three gray. So the total will be four triangles. Then same thing, okay, for figure three and figure four, the numbers are given. All right, we want to fill the table for figure five. Okay, and we are given the last row, which is the total number of triangles for figure five. Okay, so... Obviously, the most direct method to solve this is to draw figure 5, right? You just need to insert uh, one more row below, right? Which is the white triangles, right? You can see, right? The black triangles, you don't add anymore. You just need to insert the white triangles below. And then you got to count the number of triangles and you should get the same answer. Okay, but what is the shortcut? The shortcut is to actually spot the pattern. Okay, so what is the pattern over here? You can see the difference over here is 1, right? 1 minus 0 give you 1. Then 3 minus 1 give you 2. 6 minus 3 give you 3. 10 minus 6 give you 4. So can you make a guess what would the difference be here? Yes, the difference will be 5. Right, so the number over here is the same as the number over here. Okay, so that's the first pattern that you must observe, okay? which is the difference between the white and grey triangles is basically the same as the figure number. Can you understand? Okay, and what is the second pattern? Alright, the second pattern is when the figure are odd, right, which is a 1, 3, and 5, can you tell me, are the white triangles more or are the grey triangles more? The answer is, the white triangles are more than the grey triangles. Right, this is important, okay, because later on you will know how to solve this question. Alright, so for figure 5, since it's an odd figure, it means that the white triangles will be more than the grey triangles by 5. Can you understand? Okay, on the other hand, if the figure is even, it means that the grey is actually more than the white triangles. Alright, and lastly, alright, we know that the grey plus white equals the total, okay? And the total triangles is basically the square of all the figure numbers. Can you see? 1 times 1 give you 1, 2 times 2 give you 4, 3 times 3 give you 9, 4 times 4 give you 16, and 5 times 5 give you 25. Alright, so with all these patterns in mind, can you tell me how to find the white and grey triangles? Right, very simple. Right, since we know that the white is more than the grey by 5, to find the grey triangles, you got to take the total triangles minus 5 and then divide the answer by 2. Okay, so 25 minus 5 is uh, 20, then 20 divided by 2 gives you 10. Okay, so to find the white triangles, you just take 10 plus 5, you get 15. Alright, so this is how we find the white and grey triangles. On the other hand, you can also spot a pattern over here. You can see that the grey triangles repeats itself right sitting for the white triangle also repeats itself right so obviously here should be 10 because it repeats itself then to find the white you simply do 25 minus 10 you get 15 all right so that's another way of doing this question also okay and now for part b to find a total number of uh, white and gray triangles of figure 250 right do you draw until figure 250 you cannot, okay? I heard some students, they actually did that in the exam. Huh? Okay, but I don't think that would be a wise idea because this number is too big. Okay, so to find the total number of triangles, as I mentioned, this number over here is basically the square of this number. All right, so you just take 250 times 250, right? You will get a total triangles, which is 62500. All right, and now for part C. This is a killer question. To find the percentage of the grey triangles in figure 250, right? In order to find the percentage of the grey triangles, 
we will need to find the number of white triangles and the grey triangles also. Right? So how do we find the white triangles and grey triangles? Okay, first of all, you got to notice that this figure is an even number. So even number means what? Even number means the grey triangles is more than the white triangles by 250. Okay, why is that so? Because we know the difference will be equal to the figure number. So therefore, we can draw the model, right, which is the grey triangles is more than the white triangles by 250. And we also know that the total triangles is actually the part B answer, which is 62500. Ah, so now with this model, can you find the number of grey and white triangles now? It should be quite straightforward to you now, right? So to find the white triangles, you take the total minus 250, then divide by 2, you get 31125. Then the, then the gray triangles will be this plus 250. You get 31375. So to find the percentage, what do you do? You take the gray triangles, divide by the total triangles, then times 100%. Okay, you'll get 50.2% after pressing your calculator, and that will be your final answer.